Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you two selections for tomorrow's race and now before we get into them I quickly just want to reflect on how our tips performed today. In the end it wasn't a bad day here on the YouTube channel as we had a uh, winning next best at Wincanton with Wider Galley. I thought Brendan Powell gave him an excellent ride and in the end his stamina really did pay dividends. Uh, they just went too quick. Welsh Saint uh, was lit up by the blinkers and in the end like I say it just turned into a, a war of attrition and why the galley he's bred for stamina and he was just able to pick up the pieces and in the end he absolutely bolted up so i hope some of you are on that one there away from that though our other two selections were disappointing jersey lady just could never get into the race in the end she was disappointing and then the other selection captain chaos well the blinkers just didn't work work the treat today he was actually quite weak in the betting he wasn't that well supported so maybe now uh, he, he's uh, smartened up to the game and uh, he might not be effective moving forward um, in blinkers. He is getting on a little bit now, but yeah, it just wasn't to be with him. But overall, it's not been a bad day and fingers crossed we can continue our good run here on the YouTube channel. I think the last five or six videos we, we've been up every day. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can continue the good form. And like I said, two selections for tomorrow's racing, uh, both coming from Linkfield. And we're going to be going to um, the 335 tomorrow, where we're going with my, um, with my next best of the day. And that is Gal Road for Sam Twiston Davis and Nigel. Now this horse at the time recording was available 10 to 1 with Sky Bet who offer him five places on this race. Now I think Gal Road here, might have been a little bit overlooked in the market. Now, last time we saw him, he finished third in the Jerry Fielden, which ended up being a really messy race. It was actually won by one more for the road, to, uh, Tom, who actually did all right um, to win at, or he ran a good race, I should say, uh, when he finished in the first race, I think it was, in a decent uh, race at Ascot uh, just before Christmas. That wasn't a bad uh, form line there. Okay, Captain Morgs let it down at Kempton, but Soren Glory ran okay in the Christmas hurdle. So I don't think maybe the form was that bad as it quite looked at the time. But so uh, yeah, Gowrow, I just don't think he was suited by the tactical affair. And I think this handicap tomorrow with the bigger field will definitely suit him. If you go back to his penultimate start, he actually won over two mile five at Cheltenham. And I just think this could maybe turn into a test of stamina tomorrow. And he's actually proven on testing ground. If you go back through some of his form last year, he actually won some decent races off, off some big weights, including uh, a race at Newbury that works out quite well. We beat the likes of Gunsight Ridge and that, who looks like a progressive um, chaser for Ollie Murphy this season. I just think a lot of Gal Road's form does stack up quite well. And OK, yes, he is off a mark of 141. The handicapper didn't drop him. But I just say, like, like if you go through 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 his form and with um, the experience of uh, big weights and handicaps, I just thought he was a really solid each way um, proposition here. And I just thought maybe some of the horses at the top of the market could be a little bit vulnerable. So I think it tends one. I think that's a good each way uh, price. Nigel Twiston Davis, OK, they're not having uh, loads of winners. But a lot of their horses are running okay. They're either uh, making the frame or hitting the crossbar. I think it's only a matter of time before they, they uh, start hitting maybe a purple patch. And for me, I just thought Gal Road, a 10 to 1, was a fair price there. And that's why he's going to be my next best of the day. We then go to the Nat, which runs in the last race at Lingfield. And not, not an original selection here in the 408. It's going to be Neil the Legend, currently available at 5 2 across most firms for Nico de Boinville and Nicky Henson. I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here. Now, this horse, Neil the Legend, you have to say, was very impressive last time when he won at Warwick. The handicapper raised him quite rightly 11 pounds for that win. He absolutely destroyed him. He won by 15 lengths and actually the form hasn't worked out too bad because the fifth place horse uh, in that race of Lucy Wardens has subsequently boosted the form at faking him. So I don't think it was a bad race at all. Now some people might say that this horse probably will be better and more effective over staying trips in time. However I disagree because he actually tried this trip last or that he actually tried three miles last season at banger on d when he had every chance but he just didn't stay i just think this two and a half mile trip on testing ground is his optimum conditions and he could still have a little bit more to offer even though this is a more competitive race he might just get an easy time of things on the lead tomorrow if he does and gets into a good rhythm he might just have too much um speed for for his rivals over this trip and i'm quite sweet on his chance
chances tomorrow to run a big race. He's still only eight. He could still have a few more pounds to play with. And for me, that's why he's going to be my nap of the day. So there are the two selections for tomorrow's racing. If you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here to my YouTube channel at Lucky Loader 15. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter is the best place to do so, where my handle is at Lucky Loader 15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website is www.chrisloaderracing.co.uk. So please scan responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners for you tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.